Hello, gentles and ladymen. I'm Ulan Gaming, and today is the start of a new playthrough on the channel. Dark Souls 3, I know. Uh, now, this is not a normal playthrough of Dark Souls 3, as you can tell from the title. We are playing with the Enemy Onslaught mod turned on. Uh, so, now, what Enemy Onslaught does is it allows us to uh, multiply the number of enemies to include bosses in the game uh, by up to five times. And so, of course, we are setting it to five times. I'm also not going to be doing this play... So, so, so this means that uh, where there would be one hollow soldier, there are now going to be five. Where there are th normally three dogs, there will be 15 dogs. And where there are 20 u uh, enemies, there are going to be 100. Uh, so I'm not going to be doing this this playthrough alone. I am going to be playing with my friend Hebe. Uh, you will know him from the uh, Radiant Dawn playthrough that is still ongoing. We, we've had a lot of technical issues with that one, but it is still ongoing, and it is uh, you, you should you should expect a new part for it very very soon. Uh, but at the moment, if this is just a, and we're also going to be uh, doing this on stream. However, at the moment, this is a recorded playthrough. Uh, just for episode one, and that is so that I can get to the point where multiplayer is actually available to us, as the first area and boss are not going to be multiplayer enabled. So, that is where we stand right now. Uh, this episode will cover uh, pretty much all the first area, Udex Gundir, and clearing out a lot of the enemies around Firelink Shrine. So, with that, let's get into the game. Uh, we'll, we'll skip this. Alright, so for our name, let's go with MacGyver. I don't know how to spell MacGyver, so I'm just going to take a guess. I, I, that's, that can't be right. MacGyver. There we go. Uh, MacGyver. There we go. Uh, and the reason I'm doing this is because, uh, because there are five times the enemies and therefore five times the amount of souls going around, I'm wanting to do a pretty special build. I'm not going to do a quality build. I'm going to do what I am going to call a true quality build, where I uh, put stats into all four of the damage stats to include strength, dexterity, intelligence, and faith and try to use as many things as possible that scale in all four of those stats. And the reason I'm doing this is because... You know, normally those weapons don't see a lot of use, but with this many excess of souls flying around, we we might be able to see some pretty unique stuff and some pretty unique builds. And uh, I'm wanting to go for the versatility aspect of this game as much as possible and be able to use as many different tools at my disposal as I can to figure my way around the challenges. Um, now, what I will say is that I, it, me, me and Heavy have started this this playthrough before. Uh, we got a uh, we got a somewhat of a chunk into the game, and then Heavy had some technical issues and lost his computer and all of his progress and had to get uh, it repaired, and that was like almost a year ago, I think. So uh, at least the very beginning of the game we will be familiar with even under the five times difficulty. That said, we were so excited at the prospect of restarting this that it because it was just one of the most fun experiences I've ever had uh, playing this game and it was one of the most fun experiences he's ever had playing this game too uh, so that is what that, that is kind of the the background for this now uh, getting into it I was considering um, what class I wanted to do because I want to do everything and if you want to do everything the deprived starting class starts with 10 in every stat which is, ch and at level one, which is just fantastic. However, I am a little concerned about the prospect of starting this game with absolutely no gear when there's five times the amount of enemies, but we're gonna do it. We are going to do it. Uh, we're also going to bring black fire bombs as our burial crypt because we will, because trust me, you will burn through black fire bombs like nothing in this game, and it is just one of the most insane things. Uh, <laughs> so. There we go with that. Uh, there's only one true way to alter your appearance in this game for a playthrough and have it be both fun and also speedy. Similar face. And we're gonna spam this for a little bit. Oh, we got we got deep reds, deep flush, unhealthy reds. Ooh, I I, I like this. I like this. Perfect. Right there. Just that. 
right amount of sunlight so bright it hurts your eyes to look at, you know. Uh, face detail, we're going to obviously give ourselves a rad haircut. Pro perhaps, yes, this bowl cut is, is perfect. It's the raddest of all hairstyles. Yes, there we go. This is our character. This is our hero, ladies and gentlemen. The jack of all trades, master of none, true quality builds. Now let us begin. And so it begins. Now, if this is modded correctly, there should be five of these guys. Oh, there are not. Okay, let me go fix that. Yep, it's working! <laughs> oh boy, here we go! <laughs> <laughs> oh joy, uh, I am I am so happy to be doing this again. This this was like the most fun I've ever had playing Dark Souls Three. Just for a background, I I come from a Souls game background, and Dark Souls Three is like m one of my most played games of all time, and I've beaten it with every build under the sun, as well as several unique mods. Oh, backstabbing is much. I'm I'm also coming off the back of Elven Ring, so I might make a couple uh, mistakes where I like mistakenly use Elven Ring mechanics, like uh, pressing triangle to, uh, to to pick up items instead of the two hand and, and stuff like that. Uh, it might take me a little bit to get used to uh, to the Dark Souls mechanics again. Uh, I might try to ride Torn a couple times. That'll be entertaining. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I I am so excited to get into this. Oh god, this shield sucks! Yeah, okay, I just tried to do a shield counter there. Obviously it doesn't work because this is an Elven Ring. Oh, 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 roll away, roll away. And, uh, this, this shield is so ass I'm not even going to bother. How many firebombs do I have? Five? Alright, I want to save those for the boss. Oh, oh, I put away my weapon. That's not good, that's the opposite of good. Oh god, it, I, I just traded two hand by pressing triangle and R1. <laughs> this is gonna be a long playthrough coming off the back of fucking Elden Ring. Oh cool, we got a chime right away. Hell yeah, 14 faith requirement. Alright. I can work with that. And here's our Ash and Estus flask. Hell yeah! Only one archer in position there. Oh, did I get all five of them? Oh, no, I got four. Darn it. <laughs> oh, I forgot how much weapons have phantom range in this game. So weird. Oh, oh. We had two archers up. Didn't notice. Hello, boys. Oh, oh, shit. Ah, ah, get away, get away, get away. I got it. There we go. Easy as pie. Let's see how the scale... Now, let's hit the bonfire before we go for the scaled lizard. <laughs> That's that's a much smarter idea. <laughs> Boom! Time for our first emote of many. Yes. I am the best rester in the world. Oh. Ha! <laughs> I tried to hit the stealth button from Sekiro and it made me jump. Oh boy. This is gonna be a long playthrough. Why are there only three of you guys? Hmm, weird. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. Oh, it's because there are eight here. Okay, so th th this includes the archer too. 
God damn it, I just tried to pick up the item with the triangle. <laughs> long, long playthrough. Wade through this little swampy bit here. And presto! Now, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, these guys injure them, injure each other. <laughs> I think this will be doable. Oh! Alternatively, maybe not. But it's okay. We got the Titanite scale. That's all that matters. That's that. That's what's important. Yeah, so bosses and mini-bosses are able to injure each other, with a couple exceptions that we'll get into later. Uh, but yes, certain bosses are programmed differently so that they can't hurt each other. Uh, and it's because of a weird way of interaction with the original game. Uh, we'll, we'll explain it as we go. Uh, but yes, those those guys do hurt each other. I want to... Uh, fuck it, I, I don't want to just like grab my souls and go. I want the victory. I want to kill all five of them. Oh shit, that was, uh, that was my, uh, that, that was my, uh, oh my god, that almost hit me. Woohoo! Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> Roll out of the way! Oh, I can, I can handle this. Okay, we got some breath attacks going here. Alright, that's four down. Also, even if enemies only die one time, uh, their clones always spawn no matter what. So even though so even though we killed the, the the only one that drops the loot, the four other crystal lizards that are clones will still spawn, and they will always spawn. This applies to bosses as well. Fun facts. <laughs> Unfortunately, it doesn't mean we can really uh, farm bosses for for your souls, uh, just due to the fact that. Uh, boss events, uh, bosses themselves don't actually drop souls when they die. You're given souls as a reward for completing a boss event. So, we don't get any extra souls out of killing bosses. But, you know, it, 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 that, that would make it too easy otherwise. So, hey, we're, uh, we're through that first little bit. We got all the crystal lizards, which I'm super happy about. Let's leave and uh, see what's next for us. Now these guys should uh, should take two hits if I'm not mistaken. Like every every one of these guys from here on will take two. Yeah. Hey, did I give you permission to hit me? No, I did not. Back the fuck up. There we go. Oh, okay. Damn, got a little too cocky there. A little too cocky, but hey, we're making steady progress. Only two deaths so far, and it, we're at 18,000 souls before your next gun here. That, that's funny right there. <laughs> Shit! I got stun locks that time around. Unfortunately, my shield is just so ass it makes me not want to use it. I really don't want to use that shield. Let's do a jumping attack here, see if we can get a couple kills right off the bat. Make sure we're topped off. There we go. Made it through this time. Oh, there's still more. That's right. Ah! Oh! Whew! Almost didn't get away with that. It's okay, we got a little bit of poise just because we're using the club, and that's, that's what matters.
Ow. Stop that. There's a- you'll be surprised once we- once we really get going and get the build started. There's a lot of- of tools in this game that the game gives you that, for the most part, aren't really necessary in a normal playthrough, but become just all-time- that are just important to the all-time success of this kind of thing. And I, I've done a lot of, like, really unique challenge runs before, where I really try to make use of every tool the game gives you instead of just relying on your build itself. And uh, you can get some pretty amazing solutions going. If you want some examples, just look at my overloaded challenge run of Elden Ring. I never ends up completing that, but god damn it if I'm going to complete this. And the reason we're coming down here is so that we can get the, uh, the firebombs that are down here. Because firebombs are life in this game. Oh boy. <laughs> I see the, the party of gun tears awaiting me. This might be a problem. <laughs> They're not allowed to leave the boss room, but it doesn't make it much better. Alright, it's two archers down. We're gonna want that tight knight shard as well. There we go. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know what? That's a solution! <laughs> I don't think the Unix Gunners will be an issue. <laughs> Just go near them and they'll all kill each other. Oh yeah, you see you see the the screen darkening. That that's the Unix Gunners killing each other. Okay, okay, we cleared out everybody here except for one. Yeah, the screen's gonna, probably gonna go dark again in a second. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's do let's do that jump over for the Titanite shard and then grab those fire bombs. Yeah, first shot. Still got it. This is not smart, but, oh shit, <laughs> I didn't hit the fucking plunge attack button. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right, we'll take a different approach this time. All right, I'm going to jump here. And kill all who come down to us. Now we have fewer enemies to deal with. Oh god, is it the R1 button to do a plunging attack? I, I messed that up twice. It must be something I'm doing wrong. Alright, archers are down. Shit! Okay. I need to- I need to make a stand here. Okay. Well, that's 19k I just lost. That sucks. <laughs> it looks like I need to clear out this- okay. So charging in recklessly is also not smart. Uh, it looks like I do need to clear out the majority of this pathway in order to get the Unix Gunders to kill themselves safely. I wonder if I can one-shot him with a Warcraft. No, not quite. Almost. Fuck! Okay, I am not doing well right now. Actually, the Unix Gundiers aren't blocking the gate. If I run fast enough, can I get into the arena before they clog up the, the door? Let's find out. Normally, uh, run past everything and fray tactics don't really work in this playthrough. Okay, and it's not gonna work here either. Just because there's a little too much congestion going on. Yeah, like that. That right there is exactly the reason that this- that these tactics don't usually work in this game. Oh. <laughs> 
And once I get my buddy with me, then we'll be able to actually clear all this stuff out. Ouch! Okay, no, they, they get they get to the door real quick as soon as you start moving. Okay, so that's not going to be an option whatsoever. Ow! Fuck! These are not what we in the business call strong starts to the game. Alright, I'm gonna use these fire bombs. Yeah, there we go. Four kills, one shot. Alright, yeah, let's get all those lured out. We'll start the, uh, the bosses starting to attack each other. Oh shit, sh 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 oh my god, you scared me. <laughs> okay. There we go. Time to deal with the other juice. Now all the Udex Gundiers are dead except for one. Okay, this is this is looking good. And he's got low health. I only have one firebomb left, and I would like to use it here so I can get more firebombs with it. Hello there! Do you have any- do you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior Gwen? No? Okay. Alright, here's where we failed last time. Oh my god! Okay, I have to- Son of a bitch! There was one more?! <laughs> I thought I had it! I thought I had it! <laughs> oh man, I just lost all those fireballs! Oh, uh, this was actually okay. This actually kind of works. I can I can do this. I can do this. I just need to hang around and bait a bunch of Gundir attacks to slaughter all of the generic hollows as well as themselves and survive until then. That's the objective. It does start with killing all the archers at once, though. Okay. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, that came close. Okay, I think it's just one left. Okay, we made it. We made it in. We made it into Gundyr's fucking boss room, finally. Oh shit! There we go! Look at that. Look at that. Dude, we got this. It's just one gun dude. We can take a gun dude.
I mean, all you have to do is, like, knock Gundir around a little bit and then sidestep his attacks. It's easy. Easy as cake. All right. Had a boy. Ember restored. All right. Our objective here is to get to Firelink Shrine. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna save the Uchi Gatana guy for, for later, I think. Uh, but objective right now is just get to Firelink Shrine, buy our stuff, and then end the part. But first, you know, free homeward bone. Why not? I'll go the extra mile for that one for that one extra item. This is an, a heavily item usage run, after all, as most of my challenge runs tend to be. Okay. You think you you think you got an inch on me, bro? Okay, you do have an inch. About an inch's worth of damage on my screen. One hit always makes them lift their shield up. Okay, back away and you. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Missed twice. Alright, before we go into Firelink, though, there are a couple items I want to hit. Most notably, there are two embers that you can pick up, I believe. Oh god, this requires dogs. I forgot. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, this club is actually awesome at killing dogs. It sends them flying with every hit. I'm gonna have to keep this in mind. <laughs> Funk! <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm keeping that in mind. Okay. Oh, dear god, there's more than I thought. And I'm actually out of Estus. Damn it, I keep trying to two hand with triangle in R1 instead of just triangle. You. Yeah. That's probably a better shield than what I got. Much better shield. Yeah, immediately noticeable difference. Yeah, physical from 40 to 55. 
and magical. Than, yeah, pretty much everything is better. That said, we can't really afford to block any more hits. Here it is, the item we came after, that spare ember. Embers are uh, of vital importance in this game mode because we are always in co-op mode after this point. And uh, if we run out of embers, then we run out of everything. Hello there. Why, thank you. Yeah, we're just gonna start with leveling up our HP more before anything else. We need to save 500 souls, however, so that we can buy the soapstone. Yeah, okay. Uh, we'll it will also buy healing. Yeah, we have we start with an attunement slot, so we might as well. And prism stones, cause why not? And we got a we got a, a sacred chime too, so it, it just fits, you know. Granted, we don't have the stats to use the damn thing, but hey, we can work on that later, right? Uh, Fourteen. We can actually sell three of those, I suppose. Uh, you, you uh have you should have a um. A chime for sale. Yes, and we actually have the stats to use it, too. Ooh. Alright. Um, cost 500. Sell... Three of these. And... Four of these. Perfect. Buy... Talisman. Passion. We'll equip that right away. And a tune healer. Boom! Now we have a, a pretty good chunk of extra healing that we can use with our blue fast. That is going to do it for today's start, ladies and gentlemen. Next time, again, uh, we will have TV joining us uh, so that we may progress a little uh, faster and be a little bit more entertaining. But that is going to do it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, and have a great day. Thank you, gentles and ladymen, for watching the video. Please do consider subscribing or leaving a like or a comment. It really helps the channel growth uh, so I can do more of this stuff. Thanks again. Have a good day.